the top goes to Liberty as they hand Lipscomb their first conference loss, winning tonight 74 to 66. Jonathan and Justin Seaman courtside, Allen Arena here on the Lipscomb campus with head coach Casey Alexander. Coach, uh, tough game here tonight. Your thoughts on this one as you look back? Well, I'm disappointed we lost, um, you know, but I give a lot of credit to Liberty. They, uh, they're, we knew they were a really good team mm -hmm. coming into it. We knew that they were going to come in here ready to play. I don't think we were not ready to play. Uh, I just think they were better than us. And, um, you know, our response wasn't what I would want yeah. it to be in the first half. But I think the style of the game had a lot to do with that. Um, you know, so just disappointed. But one out of 16, which is what I would have said if we won. Well, the rhythm went their way, and from the beginning, they came out hard, and you just never could get a play that got you over it. Well, the tempo was hard in the first half, you know, and that's how they play for sure, and they were more, much more deliberate tonight yeah. than they usually are. So it was clear they wanted to slow things down, and, uh, you know, we, so we have nine out of nine turnovers and 32 possessions in the first half. That's 30% roughly. I don't know the exact math. And we have a lot of good looks inside that we don't score, and so it just felt a little slow and lethargic, even though I don't think it was an effort thing. It was just a style of play thing. That's the reason we picked up in the second half and tried to just create more energy for ourselves. Yeah, I was going to say the energy level, I thought first half definitely went to Liberty. And then because they kind of were able to set the tempo that way. But I thought second half did some good things inside. I thought the bigs really on both sides of the ball played yeah. really well. Well, we knew that was an important matchup, you know, because their guys are so important to them and ours are so important to us offensively. We do everything through our five men, and, you know, but, uh, and it didn't feel good, but, you know, they're still, what, 12 for 23. It's not, not terrible. They get 35 out of our half from at 66 points. And so we got, we got good enough production. We just didn't put enough together as a team to make it happen. Well, as you look at the stats here tonight, you see it matched our lowest numbers of threes made. And in a game like this, the way the crowd's in it and doing things, you got to hit one of those big threes or a yeah. couple to get things when it just didn't happen. Yeah, we never really made that run. I mean, we made a little mini runs, four and five and six point runs maybe, but we never could put anything together. And that's usually how we do it is from the three point line. So three makes is, is, isn't going to win many games for us the way that we play. Well, one of the things we talked Especially about. Especially with 18 the, shots. Yeah, we talked <laughs> about this in the broadcast. One of the few times this year we've seen two and three spurts of scoring droughts. We had two and three minute scoring droughts and just the way the pace of play that we've been playing, haven't seen that much. Yeah, I mean, there's You got to give credit to them. They yeah, did a great well, job they, they, they deserve all the credit. I mean, they're 100% they're – well, they're about 90% responsible, and then we added to the mess a little bit. Um, but, you know, there's nothing – on the offensive side that's indicative of how we play. You know, we're, our assist turnovers are in the negatives. You know, we only score 66 points. We only make three threes. We only shoot 36%. You know, so those, those you know, put all that together and it's a pretty bad night. And it's because they were good and we didn't, we didn't fight through it and find a way to execute better. Well, you see the stats there, how they told the story. Now we look over to the schedule, which sets up, and we're coming down to the final stretch run here. Coach, you're going to be on the road for three out of the last four. It starts at Kennesaw State. Only one home game left with NJIT. Yeah, I mean, we got our work cut out for us. Um, you know, this is, this is crunch time of conference play for everybody, and three out of four on the road won't be easy. But I told our team, you know, if they're not excited about coming to practice tomorrow and, and continuing to do what, the, what we've been doing, then <clears throat> that's not the proper response. I, I, I trust our team. Um, I'm excited about coming back to practice tomorrow. I'm excited about those four games. I'm excited about postseason. None of that changes, you know, because we lost today. Um, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll learn and get better because of today, but nothing changes about what our potential is because we lost today. It's still a battle. You're still at the top. you still got a lot to play in front of you. Absolutely. All right, Coach. Tough luck on the loss tonight, but get ready for Kennesaw State on Saturday. Next game, 3.30 Central Time. You can keep up with everything happening with Lipscomb at LipscombSports.com.